When we speak of soils, we tend to think of soils that have formed under natural conditions. Yet there are soils that are deeply influenced by human activities. Such soils we call anthrosols, man-made soils. The human activities influencing such soils could be deep ploughing, long-term manure applications or paddy cultivation. Now let's have a look at an anthrosol and we start with the original soil, the natural soil, formed on cover sands under heathland vegetation. The heathland vegetation produces acids and it's a poor sandy soil, low in nutrients and low in buffering capacity. Acids wash certain components down the profile like iron, aluminum and organic matter. This makes this soil even poorer and people had to survive on these soils. So they applied a form of integrated agriculture whereby the cattle was kept in the stable at night and the farmer would keep the stable floor dry by adding vegetation from the surrounding heathland area. That mix of manure and heather vegetation was periodically brought onto the agricultural field and created this half a meter organic matter rich topsoil. On the agricultural field this meant an improvement of soil quality. But at the landscape level it meant ecological disaster because the sandy landscape was left bare and it was prone to wind-blown erosion, overblowing whole areas and creating inland dunes and a desert that would normally not exist under the current climate conditions. The growth of this topsoil created by man under the influence of long-term manure applications over centuries abruptly ended by the end of the 19th century following the introduction of mineral fertilizer.